third place uh, finish right now, a half a point out of second. So he tried, he was trying like crazy to get the fall to send Jefferson into second place, but he did get him into third place right now. They just moved past Lewis Central. Now we're going to 140 pounds. We're still beginning with a 1H class here, the small schools where we have Corey Starry of Cedar Rapids LaSalle wrestling against Chad Martin of Belle Plaine. Now, Chad Martin is coached by Al Billings, Corey Starry by Dan Connor. Starry is 42 and 3 this year. And Starry is in the green uniform, Chad Martin of Belle Plaine in the dark blue. And there is Starry in on a leg right away. The outside single picks it right up. Going for the first takedown if he can get it. Still doesn't have it. Doesn't have advantage. Third time in the state tournament for Corey Starry. Good wizard by Martins, keeping him out of here. Oh, good scramble, and this not settled yet. Wow. It's a tough wizard there by Martin, who's got a lot of length. The Starry, he has beaten the number one and number two ranked wrestlers in this tournament to get to the finals. That's an accomplishment in itself. I'm sure he'd like to finish it off. Chad Martin from Bell Plain also here in the state tournament for the third time. He pinned his first two opponents in the tournament. Chad Martin, no score there. Now at 2A, we have Ryan Jensen of Winterset against Kirk Stansbury of Sheraton for the championship. And at the AAA mat, Wade Anderson of Waterloo West goes against John Tornberg of West Des Moines Valley in what is a replay of last year's third place match. There's Martin. Bell the Plain and LaSalle, not too far from each other. Cedar Rapids, LaSalle, and Bell Plain. In fact, these two young men have probably worked out together, and, and yet they've never met in competition. Martin got the takedown. He countered that first series of moves and that scramble. This time, after a new start, he gets the top position. 2 nothing, with 20 seconds to go in the first period. At 140 pounds in Veterans Auditorium, it's the Iowa High School Wrestling Championships of 1993, live on Iowa Public Television. With Tim Johnson, I'm Doug Brown. And for an extravaganza like this, we have most of Iowa Public Television here. And a few people, I think, are ringers, actually. Because <laughs> uh, lots of mats, lots of people, lots of things going on. Well, you know, wrestling's one big family anyway, you know, yeah. not only Iowa Public Television, but the, the family tradition lives on out here in wrestling. This young man that's getting down in referee's position, Chad Martin, is a nephew of Bob Yelich, uh, what, a star for Bell Plain and then Coe College. Oh, here is Starry. Oh, he's in trouble Martin. here. Oh. Oh. On his back. It, it's close. It's that's close a tough so spot. That's a tough spot. Mark Referee. fighting hard. Bob McNeil is down there looking at it. A lot of time in the second period. And uh, Martin survived three that, minutes. but it's a three-point near fall. Makes it 3-2 in favor of Starry. Tell you, when he started underneath, I don't think Martin expected that to happen. Starry of Cedar Rapids LaSalle. Well, he works that half Nelson, doesn't he? Well, I, I think this star, he's a basic go-for-you, go-ahead type wrestler, and he's wrestling him more. Sucks him back again. Kind of an unorthodox uh, wrestler in uh, Chad Martin. Two different styles right here, and it's working for, you know, both of them. And right now, Starry's got the upper hand, three to two. They're both uh, tall and lanky, as a matter of fact, but they wrestle differently. Starry. Uses a tight waist. And goes to the half Nelson. He uses it without the breakdown. He uses that, uh, that ride with 45 seconds to go. The difference I was talking about is Starry's going to put in a half Nelson. He says, OK, I've got the half in. I'm going to drive it. And this is exactly what I'm going to do. If you can stop me, fine. But that's what I'm going to do. 
Well, Chad Martin comes a little bit sneakier. He has great hips. He gets in there. He gets position. And all of a sudden, boom, he'll hit you. So it's a different type of style. Three to two in favor of Starry. He had a near fall right at the beginning of this period. And Martin barely got off his back. And here comes Starry again. No, no, no. No back points. The angle wasn't right. But he has a half Nelson. And See, there's right that half. And he caught him. He Jeez. caught he caught oh. Chad Martin because Martin was the one that was coming out then. And he's all, he's coming out again, possibly. He this didn't get a, a two-point near fall, but it may be a reversal. Unless I'll tell you, this out. match is not over. It's uh, end of the second period, though. No oh. escape. No escape. A two-point back. Near fall. That's a close call. We got Reds going down. There's Dan Connor from LaSalle. Way, He'll be uh he gets a little animated on the side sometimes. We'll, we'll keep the <laughs> camera on him a couple of times. He says, get in there and go. So Starry leading by three goes on the bottom. This is a good match. Two minutes left to go. Martin stops his first move, breaks him down. But here is Martin on top. He needs three points. What does he use? Well, he's, he's a cross face. Yeah, he gets right in there. He likes spiral, but he can cradle too. And right now, I think he's looking for the cradle because you're right, yeah. Doug. He needs points. Puts the leg in now. See Starry. He's not going anywhere. It's uh, Martin's got that leg in on him tight with about a minute and a half to go. Chad Martin doing a nice job on top here. Look at he's got the near wrist right here. The spiral right down. Keeps him broken down, but he needs to turn him. He has three points to make up. Starry comes to his knees from the underside with a minute and ten to go. That's Corey Starry of Cedar Rapids LaSalle. The 1A title at 140 is at stake. You know, I like, you know, you get ready for uh, the state tournament. You get together when you're There's close. a warning, by the way, TJ, excuse me, uh, against Starry on the bottom. Both these wrestlers have a lot of respect for each other, and they've worked out together in preparing for the state tournament. And I like the, what uh, Corey Starry said. He says, you know, we've wrestled, but it's hard to tell who gets the better end of things. <laughs> And it is hard to tell in this match, but right now, Corey Starry has the better end of things. With There's a point. Seconds. Now he's got a two-point lead. What goes from five to two to five to three. And, so. and out they come. Now, to make that uh, escape possible, it's six to three. Possible pin at 2A right there between Jensen and Stansbury. And the man who is doing the pinning is uh, Ryan Jensen. Starry gets a takedown in our match right here to ice the win, eight Three. With five seconds eight to, to go. Four. That's the man go. Eight to four. And there it is. That was a good match between two talented and well-matched people. Starry and Martin. Neither man could anything to apologize for there. Corey Starry's the winner. Happy coach Dan Connor and Let's go to 2A. This is where we had, we have 20 seconds to go. It's eight to four in favor of Ryan Jensen in the black. And he lead, no, 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 not. Yeah, yes, yes, in the black. And he is, now I have 10 to four because he had a two point near fall a minute ago. Ryan Jensen of Winterset. Big win. He uh, spends a lot of time in the wrestling room wrestling Corey Christensen, and now he can say, I'm a state champion, too. <laughs> Two winners at men in the finals, and the first championship goes to this young man, Ryan Jensen. Only a junior. Now the 3A mat is still alive. Wade Anderson against Joe Tornberg. Wade Anderson against Joe Tornberg. Now, John Tornberg of West Des Moines Valley is leading here four to three with only a half a minute to go in the match. And that is Wade Anderson taking the shot underneath. He's from West Waterloo, coached by Don Huff. He's trailing by one. Tornberg, of course, coached by Vern Hill. And there comes Anderson. He's, if he drives through, he's got to take down. He just got to keep on driving. Got to cut off. Or Tornberg's going to be able to scoot around. Ten seconds to go here. 
That's two points for Turnberg, it looks like. And, and uh, nobody calling here. And the man in the black right there from Valley, John Tornberg held on. Or, and I meant two points for Wade Anderson the way it was, no. John Tornberg is the winner. Four to three. Now that the, the uh, story of that goes back to boards at 140 at 1A. Chad Martin, Bell Plain. And the 1A 140-pound champion from Cedar Rapids, LaSalle, Corey Starry. Corey Starry. He won eight to four over Chad Martin. He can walk down the streets of of Cedar Rapids LaSalle, and he's the state champion. Here are the 2A winners, top six. Awards, Coach Gary Christensen of Winterset. Sixth place, Corey Coleman, Manchester, West Delaware. Fifth place, Aaron Street, Osage. Fourth place, Brandon Nissen, DeWitt Central. Third place, Aaron Hollengren, Adel DeSoto. Runner-up, Kirk Stansberry, Sheraton. And the 2A 140-pound champion from Winterset, Ryan Jensen. So actually, Winterset gets two champions, two weights in a row. And, I, you know, that helps when you have two men that good uh, against each other in the wrestling room. You can see where they came from. Well, that's right. They make each other that good. Ryan Jensen won 10 to 5 over Kirk Stansbury of Sheraton. Up come the 3A top six at 140. 140 pound awards. Assistant head coach Bob Hinton of West Des Moines Valley. Sixth place, Baramy Osandro, Eldridge North Scott. Fifth place, Chris Deegan, West Des Moines Dowling. Fourth place, Dusty Kofel, Cedar Rapids Prairie. Third place, Eric Koble, Cedar Falls. Runner up, Wade Anderson, Waterloo West. And the 3A 140-pound champion from West Des Moines Valley, John Tornberg. Fourth place last year to Wade Anderson's third. He's the champion this year at 140 pounds. Let's go to Dick Trotter for a floor report. 